Okay, so forgive the crude setup here. I will admit, first and foremost, I'm a little hungover. I went partying this weekend, but I just thought I'd do a little vlog series, a new one essentially. So, hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome to the Skull Island vlogs. Uh, for a lot of people on my channel, they have been asking me over and over, what's your thoughts on the Skull Island anime? It's two of your favorite things put together, finally coming together at long last. Um, so, I figured in the tradition of, you know, you guys wanting me to talk about more King Kong stuff, plus my Inuyasha vlogs, I would do a vlog series in the style of the Inuyasha vlogs and give my take on uh, every episode of the Skull Island anime week by week and just give my first impressions, essentially. I do plan to probably do this as a review at some point, maybe even sooner than later. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of working out the details as I watch the show. But, yeah, I figured this would be a good way to start off, uh, get some Kong reviews out for you in some capacity, in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah, welcome to the Skull Island Vlogs, where we talk about the first episode of the show, essentially the pilot, and... I'll give you guys my overall opinion on it. So, what is it about? What is this Skull Island anime? Well, surprisingly enough, it is canon to the MonsterVerse stuff, so Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, Kong Skull Island, and so on. In fact, this takes place around 20 years after uh, Kong Skull Island, so I'd say around 1993, essentially. And the opening, the first episode, mostly focuses on a ship. A research vessel. Uh, so we're already on the right track of traditional Kong material because we spend like the first few on on the ship until we actually get to the island. But it's got a good setup. We've got a, a group of uh, new characters that have uh, entered the MonsterVerse essentially. We have the sea captain. We have uh, uh, a character named Boomer. So it's like, okay, get that reference. Uh, and then we have uh, two kids, uh, Charlie and Mike, who are on the voyage as well with their parents, res their, their dads respectively. And overall, good dynamic of characters to start off. Boomer is sort of this deaf guy, so he can't really hear anything. The sea captain is very much on par with like Captain Inglehorn in, uh, in uh, the other movies. And then you have uh, Charlie and Mike, who I guess are sort of our Carl Denham and Jack Driscoll of this group, which is uh, pretty interesting. And when, in terms of that happening with them just sort of doing research, looking for undiscovered creatures, uh, lo and behold, they find a beautiful castaway. So what does this sound like? It sounds like 1976. So I was already on in in terms of just structure and how to introduce these characters. And uh, this character uh, shows up adrift uh, on a piece of um, uh, debris, but actually had escaped the ship prior during the opening of the episode, which was a really cool action scene. And uh, she gets on the boat. She clearly doesn't know where she is. She's asking about her dog, and everybody's like, what are you talking about? Who's your dog? But then they give her a cup of coffee. She doesn't know what coffee is. So that starts to, you know, put your... Like, when you bring in, in, like, a girl for a Kong movie, but she doesn't know what certain stuff is, this isn't a girl from New York, guys. Uh, this is clearly... I would say a native of Skull Island, I guess. But what's interesting enough is that her name is Annie. So a lot of people are putting it two, 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 two and two together that her last name is probably going to be Darrow, which I'm okay with. Again, it's an interesting new take on the material, plus it's part of the MonsterVerse, so they could do certain new things with that. So as all that's going on, there's these marine kind of guys, like like assassins. They look like Cobra soldiers uh, trying to get this girl and uh, get her back to their ship. But unfortunately, their ship goes missing because, uh, lo and behold, release the Kraken. <laughs> there's a giant squid which has been labeled the Kaiju, uh, according to the fans. And this is a big, giant octopus. So it's like grabbing uh, people off the ship. And it takes Boomer. Boomer's gone instantly, which you're like... No, Boomer! Well, okay, Boomer, you you were kind of expendable. Um, but, you know, all this stuff is happening on the ship. It takes the ship down, so it's very much in the vein of the Kraken from Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Men's Chest, which is pretty cool. Um, so all that's going down, and eventually the episode ends where we end up on Skull Island, and the last shot is Dolly out with the two uh, kids, uh, Charlie and Mike, 
in a footprint of Kong, which sort of sets up our show. Now, what are my thoughts on the first episode? It's good. Like, it's really decent. I should point out, I watched this with a friend of mine, and we did not watch the English dub. We watched the Japanese dub, because, you know, with an anime, it's better to watch the Japanese dub. And uh, my friend wanted to watch it that way to make it more enjoyable, which it is. I actually do kind of prefer the Japanese dub. I haven't watched the English dub much, so I feel like if I did now, because I'm about halfway through the show, it would be kind of a different dynamic it would be a little bit totally different shift in tone but I, I do prefer the Japanese dub particularly with this series and it's pretty cool that Netflix has that option so it's a decent opening pilot it really does get uh, things going at a very quick pace um, I thoroughly enjoyed a lot of the characters I like the creature design with the giant octopus and I also do like how it ends um, and in terms of just the animation I will say this first and foremost as I've watched the first half of the show out of all the animated Kong uh, content that I've seen whether it be like the animated series whether it be the King Kong show from the 60s which is technically an anime it was one of Toei's first and even like the other Netflix Kong series, which really sucks balls, um, this is the best one. This is arguably the best one I've seen so far. Um, especially for the first episode, I was already hooked right away. This isn't like the other ones where they were a complete drag to sit through. Um, this opening episode was pretty good. Uh, there is some nitpicks I have going in later on as I've watched the first half and as I continue to watch it, but I'll bring those up as we go along. But I overall did like this first episode. I did like how it set everything up, and I want to see what happens next. So, yeah, I give this first episode about a 7. So it's a good start. It gets things going. Uh, a little draggy in areas, but I'm looking forward to see what they do next. So let me know your thoughts on the first episode in the comment section below. Don't forget to support our Patreon. Just a dollar more. We'll get you early access to all of our content as well as other special features. But yeah, uh, consider this series sort of a pilot, to a review of the pilot. And this is a pilot. So um, I overall had a good time on this. And Tune in uh, every week. Uh, we're going to be talking about the show and every episode week by week to give you guys a little bit more content on the channel. And don't worry, there will be a scripted review down the line. So, until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. It's Big Jack Film signing off for now, and I'll see you guys in episode two. Take it easy.